Howdy y'all. Today we're exploring some of 30 caliber's most accurate bullets for your 308 Winchester. As a competitive F-Class shooter, I have shot all of these bullets in both practice and in a match setting. Today's lineup includes the Hornady 178 ELDM, the Sierra 195 Tipped Match King, the 175 TMK, and lastly, the Berger 220X. All of the bullets were fired down this 28 inch Brooks barrel with a heavy Palma contour. I personally have fired over 2000 rounds downrange through this barrel with all of the bullets today. And each match I recorded data such as which bullet was used, which primer, brand of brass and how many times fired, powder charge, and many more details regarding my specific load. I also recorded environmental data such as winds and mirage. Now let's take a look at the data in the spreadsheet, shall we? Keep it all on my computer, and I'll even show you the VBA macro I use to analyze the data and produce today's results. On the left is a sample of the raw data collected, and the right is the VBA macro for all of us Excel nerds. Today's scoring is going to consist of three parts. Part one is the average score percentage, meaning 100% would be every bullet was either in the 10 ring or the X-ray. Part two is a weighted score, made partly of your average score percentage and also a weighting to reflect the environmental conditions of the match. My environmental index goes from one to five, with one being a perfectly calm day and no mirage or wind, and a four meaning super bad mirage and super bad wind. I have yet to record a five, but maybe that's a tornado. Lastly, part three is my own personal subjective opinion based on my own experience. Now, before we get to running the macro and see the results you've all been waiting for, let me just say that I love all three of these brands and their bullets. I started with the Hornady 178, then I moved to the Sierras, and I got my first clean using the 175 TMK. A clean target means that every shot was within the 10 of the X-ring, and at 600 or 1,000 yards, that's quite impressive for everybody. I now shoot these Berger 220Xs, and my latest load using V N 150 is what I'll be taking down to Phoenix for the Southwest Nationals. Now the winner of part one, which is the average score percentage, goes to the Sierra 175 TMK. I told you I've shot very well with these guys, and this middleweight bullet can truly perform. Now that was just part one. Part two takes into account the environmental conditions of the day. We all know that shooting at 8 a.m. with no wind or mirage is child's play. What separates the real shooters from the rookies is how we perform in the wind and the mirage. Now the winner of today's average weighted score goes to the Berger 220X. I've shot these through some pretty gnarly environments, including heavy rain and hot Florida days and have still managed some decent scores with these bullets. Now this leads us to part three, my personal subjective opinion. I personally have put bullets in the same hole with all of today's contenders, but there's a clear winner when it comes to resisting the elements. That is the Berger 220X. My loads have shown that I have less velocity loss during flight time than any other bullet. And I've also noticed that they buck the wind much better. That's partly due to their weight and their improved ballistic coefficient. Now this is not to say that shooting burgers will automatically help beat your competitors shooting different bullets on a windy day. They just help minimize your errors. Shooting my 175s, I'd have to hold over an additional half to a full M away, depending on the conditions, over my hold for the Burger 220Xs. I actually tested that in one match. And the more wind can affect your bullet, the more you can get in trouble if you miss a wind call. And as an engineer, I like to reduce my sources of air wherever I can. That's why I switched to the burgers. However, I would like the record to note, fear the competitor who shoots one bullet and knows how to use it. For he or she knows when and where to hold for the environments. I hope you enjoyed this bullet review. Remember that all the data was taken from matches using this barrel. Individual results may vary. Also remember, that each gun is different, each gun smith is different, and these bullets will require different powders, charges, and seating depths to get you shooting bug holes. But I can personally assure you that all four of these bullets are capable of shooting lights out. 
The fun adventure is for you to find what load does it. Now, if you like this video, please smash that like button below. Check out the other videos and subscribe to my channel. Have fun on the range and see you next time.